Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about getting back into it. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, I am a software developer who hasn't been doing much coding. How can I prepare for going back on the market? Well, it, how can you be a software developer who hasn't been doing a lot of coding and then prepare to go back on the market? Have you been? I'm, I'm guessing now. I'm just guessing, but I'm guessing that you used to work as a software developer and then you did something else or something like that and now you I'm guessing you took a role or a job as something other than a software developer a classic one is that you become a manager or something like that and now you're gonna go back and try to be a software developer this is my guess now the reason why I'm guessing this way is because I'm well let's just say that I've done a few interviews in the past few days where I've had a few of these uh, manager types uh, who did exactly this thing and well what I can tell you my friend is that you have to go back to basics uh, you're gonna have to go and basically do the same sort of work as the juniors are doing and that is well go and learn how to program again it's not that difficult to I hope understand what is required so I'll give you the same tips that I usually give uh, the juniors First and foremost is that you need to identify what it is that you want to achieve with your coding. Are you looking for to be like a web developer or are you going to be a mobile developer or like desktop applications, embedded systems, IoT, machine learning, what are you going to do? And when you can figure that out, then the next thing is to identify, all right, what are the things that are necessary in order to achieve that goal? Like what programming languages would be a good bet here and since if you have that well see this is the key thing you said that you have been, been doing a lot of coding this is this is very difficult for me because uh, mean for uh, if I'm gonna read between the lines this basically means that you know how to write a hello world, hello world application it's sort of like uh, I keep on hearing this uh, from people as I was saying just the other day I was interviewing a guy who is uh, I'm supposed to take his. Uh, um, no, we do take. I do technical interviews for the company. Basically, the way that the company is structuring its interviewing process is that they take all of the software engineers or the engineering managers or the architects or whoever, right? And then they do some type of like testing. Like they have all kinds of like interviewing tests. But one specific step is to always have a technical interview with someone who has let's call it experience because most of the managers within the company don't actually have real software development experience so they want someone who actually knows some stuff and so they usually ask me uh, to do this uh, and a few of my other co-workers and so when I interview an, a manager that's this is what they usually say oh I haven't been doing a lot of coding but and then they spend half a half the meeting trying to explain how they are you know how they're always hungry for more they are tr looking to learn about things except they sort of know this and they start term dropping like a crazy person like they it's insane they will mention every single technology that you can imagine like it's I, I, I like to play keyword bingo I sit there and they see here, okay, they said machine learning, security, site reliability engineering, CICD, then they were it was like microservices, like I just see how many points I can figure I can get. And then when I have started counting, because they usually go on for quite a while, especially if they're managers, because they're so used to it. This is the classics. This is the guys, if I can teach you one thing, managers solve practically every single problem by just talking more and sounding like they know what they're saying but when they actually have to prove or do things they always fail and if you find a manager who is not incompetent they usually are very few they, they don't need to talk as much 
they usually just know things and they can actually be in a very calm and relaxed manner and explain things. Incidentally, that is the managers that I usually find uh, to be the most interesting to have and these are the people that I usually come and work for. But this, this specific guy, he did exactly this thing. He uses all these soft terms. He's trying to inflate the fact that he doesn't actually know anything about software development. And that is a very difficult thing uh, when you're dealing with someone who has been doing this practically every day for the last I don't know how many years now at a fairly like uh, let's let's just say I've worked primarily for everything from startups all the way up to like the large IT companies of the world and th that basically means that there is no thing that you can tell me you can't use these terms that I'm not going to be able to check very quickly because when you start asking me about say machine learning and I go okay what type of models have you been training uh, 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 yeah well uh, then they get very fl fluffy all of a sudden and it goes oh yeah but I've done a lot of PHP work okay cool uh, so you know how a web server works no I wouldn't say that I know how a web server works uh, I've just been doing some PHP and I go yeah but PHP requires a web server right or did you just run it on like the the uh, yeah, surely you've used I'm assuming Apache or something like that uh, 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 no I'm not so sure okay so all of a sudden uh, you basically just told me that you don't do PHP I'm saying uh, because you don't you say the word but you cannot explain what you just said and so if you are the so you haven't done a lot of mo much much coding I'm simply going to assume that you know nothing that's why I tell you that if you are if you be honest with yourself here guys if you have been so out of touch or never actually done any serious software development then you should not go in with the mind you don't try to you know how do I put this don't try to convince yourself that you know something that you don't know because when it comes to getting into the market it is about results what can you build it's the same thing for the juniors that it's very detrimental to you to try to inflate yourself by saying oh I've been doing some code guys I've talked to people from all areas of IT and they always feel embarrassed if you ask them about their coding skills because IT is about coding or rather like this IT companies that usually do that and there is not a single person who will not try in some way if they can swing that they have done some coding and the, that's as I said most of them when they use that term it means fuck all it means oh you did a hello world application guys I, ha I talked to this guy he claimed to have five Asher certifications he just kept on fucking up because he keeps on telling st stating things in technologies that I also know so I asked him all right could you compare the pros and the cons with say the uh, the Azure uh, Azure functions versus say app services. N no. Okay. Could you tell me what what like what is a resource group? No. Okay. So you have five certifications, but you can't tell me what the ba some of the like some basics about the platform. Oh no, but I haven't really set in much of that up, and it was a long time ago I did it. Okay. <laughs> You know nothing. You know nothing. You know fucking nothing about nothing. But you keep on trying to convince me that you know something. So if you're going to prepare to go back on the market, go back to basics. Go and learn what is necessary in order to uh, to uh, to be a junior software developer again. Because if you haven't done a lot of coding, I promise you, the question that you have just posed tells me that it's not that you have been a software developer, you have never been a serious software developer. You are most likely going to have to start from scratch. So what I want you to take away from this is that if you want to prepare to go quote unquote back on the market and you can't actually say that you've done a lot of coding, then it's basically back to school for you. Go back, learn all the same things as the juniors are learning and usually as I, this is a I have tons of videos on on that topic usually that means figuring out what do you want to do what type of application development are you going to do number two is figure out what is relevant in your region what technologies are usually associated with the sort of work that you want to do and then take the courses go to university if you ha if that's your way of doing it and then practice 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 until you get to a point where you actually can produce things 
because so guys software development is about results it is about making things it's sort of like you know when people say things like this it's like saying that oh I speak a little bit of French and then they can literally say two sentences because what they're trying to do is to leverage some of the I don't know hipness factor coolness factor prestige whatever that is associated with the topic and claim in passing that they sort of know this stuff because it raises their they like the the they think that it raises their self image and sure as I like to say if you want to sound smart go and learn some basic phrases in French or something like that and pass it, pass, pass it along to someone who knows nothing because you can impress someone who knows nothing but the problem is that in software development you are going to get and talk uh, get going uh, go and talk to people who actually know the thing that you sort of know a little bit about and we, as with this guy that I was interviewing that he 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 was borderline crying from the shame and I wasn't being unpleasant guys I was I, I was as nice as I humanly could but it becomes very very embarrassing when you try to pretend that you are something that you're not and then you do that in front of someone who is the thing that you're trying to pretend that you are because he's as I said he cannot get a, a leg up with me because every time he says something I simply ask him for a little bit of clarification on the thing he just said and everything falls immediately because he's used to be able to just say words to people who can't ask a follow-up question but when you try get to talk to me I will ask a question that is usually very benign very simple as I said oh so you've done some web service work he didn't understand the words I was using so don't try it guys don't try to pretend that you sort of know stuff that is very dan dangerous to you make sure that you understand that if you have been so out of touch with coding that you haven't quote unquote done a lot of it and you can't tell me like specifically what you've been doing like sort of where your gaps are then it's very likely that you don't know a lot about software development and you should approach your problem the same way as a junior software developer have a great day